Hello dear all welcome to Sunday Education Academy I am Santosh Wag in this video we will see question number 11 and question number 12 of exercise 2.5 chapter polynomials class 9th mathematics so let's start our video question is given factorize 27x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz so here we have to factorize this expression now here we will use the standard identity one of the standard identity I will write here that identity x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3x y z and that is equal to x plus y plus z in the second bracket x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x. So factors of this expression are like this. This is the standard identity. Now we have to convert this expression in this form. Means we require three variables: a perfect cube here, three terms of perfect cube, then minus sign and multiplication. Multiplication of these three terms into three. So if we are able to convert this expression in this format, we can say the factors will be like this. So just see this 27. This expression we can write. This is the standard identity, and we are going to take the help of this standard identity to make the factors. So 27x cube we can write. See here, x cube is already there, but 27 is a cube of 3. So we can write this as a 3x bracket cube. So this is a now perfect cube. This term 3x bracket cube. Then y cube is already there. Then plus z cube already there. Minus. Now see here, we require three here. So we write here three and remaining out of nine, one factor three we have taken here. So remaining factor is three. Three into three, isn't it? So three x in one bracket. Then y into z. So now we have converted this expression in this format. first term perfect cube second term perfect cube third term perfect cube minus sign there is 3 then multiplication of this 3x into y into z isn't it so factors will be like this so factors will be here in first bracket x plus y plus z but x means here first term our first term is 3x so write 3x so this 3x plus y as it is plus z as it is Means cube root of these terms, isn't it? Then second bracket, x square means square of first term. So here first term is three x. So square of three x will be nine x square. Then square of second term that is y y square. Then plus square of of third term that is z square. Then minus first term into second term. First term is our three x. Three x into y. So minus 3 into x into y, isn't it? Then minus sign and multiplication of the second term and third term. Second term is y, third term z. So here will be y z and minus multiplication of last term and first term. So multiplication of last term means z and multi and first term is 3x. Term is 3x. So here will be 3x into z. So these are the factors. of this expression and we found it with the help of this standard identity now see the question number 12 of exercise 2.5 verify that this question is given x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3x into y into z and here is equal to 1 by 2 in the bracket x plus y plus z bracket complete in the second bracket x minus y bracket square plus y minus z bracket square plus z minus x bracket square. Here to verify this expression, this equation as true, we have to solve this right hand side. So we will solve this right hand side and let's find which is the answer. That answer must be this one. Then only we can say this is verified. So start our solution. This right hand side, right hand side we will solve. So Here, initially we will initially we will solve this bracket, then multiply each term with this x, y, and z. So solve this bracket. 
सो वन अपॉन टू इन टू ब्रैकेट एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड दिस ब्रैकेट एज इट इज एंड इन दिस ब्रैकेट एक्स माइनस वाई ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर दैट इज वी नो द स्टैंडर्ड आइडेंटिटी वी हैव स्टैंडर्ड आइडेंटिटी हियर वी हैव टू यूज विच आर द स्टैंडर्ड आइडेंटिटी जस्ट सी Just see here we will standard identity x minus y bracket square and solution for this is x square minus two x y plus y square. So here all these brackets we will solve using this standard identity. So solution for this will be in the first bracket, or it is not necessary to give bracket because we will get the direct solution. So x square plus y square. Minus two x y, that will be the solution for this bracket. Then second bracket plus plus y square plus z square minus two into y z, and for the third bracket, z square plus x square minus two into x into z. Now see which are the similar terms. And reduce it. So in the next step, one upon two into bracket x plus y plus z as it is, and in this bracket. So here, x square is here, and one more x square is here. So both are have positive sign. So we will add this. That is two x square. Similarly, here is y square, and here is y square. So we will add this. Plus y square plus y square that is two y square. Similarly, here is z and here is also z. So this z and this term we will add and will become two times z square. So remaining terms are x y. Then here is y z and here is x z. So these are not similar terms, so we cannot add. So write these terms as it is minus two x y minus two y z. Minus two x z. Now solve this bracket in the next step, or we can take two common. Every term has a two coefficient, so we can two we can take two outside the bracket. So in the next step, one upon two in the bracket x plus y plus z, and two take two outside the bracket. So here will be two, and inside the bracket only x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus x z. Now see here, these two and these two will get cancelled, isn't it? And now in the next step, we will multiply this x to this bracket, then y to this bracket, and z to this bracket. So just see the next step. In next step, x into bracket this. All x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus x z. Then plus plus y into bracket x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus x z. And third plus z into bracket again x square. Plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus x z. Now solve this bracket. In the next step, we will get multiply x to this bracket. We will get here x into x square that is x cube plus x into y square that is x y square plus x into z square that is x z square. Then minus x y into x that is minus x square y. Then minus y z into x that is minus x y z. And minus x z into x that is minus x square minus x square into z. So this is solution for this. Then plus plus solution for this. Multiply y to each term inside the bracket. That is, we will write x coefficient x variable first. So here will be x square y 
then plus y into y square that is y cube then plus y into z square that is y z square minus y into xy that is x y square then y z into y that is minus y square z then last term minus x z into y that is x y z so and in the third bracket solution for the bracket plus this z into each term inside the bracket we will keep the sequence of x y z as a variable so here x square into z here x square into z plus y square into z plus z cube then minus minus x y z minus x y z minus y into z into z that is minus y z square then minus x z into z that is x z square so now we have to find the similar terms which are similar terms now let's cancel the possible term see here here is x y square and just see here is minus x y square here is plus and here is minus so this term will get cancelled isn't it now see here x z square plus and here is minus x z square so this term will also get cancelled similarly observe where is x square y where is x square y here is minus x square y here is plus x square y so this term will get cancelled now here x y z but here is also x y z minus and here is also minus x y z so we will add these three terms now see minus x square z here is minus x square z and we can observe here is plus x square z so this term will get cancelled and now here is y cube y cube is single then y z square plus y z square and here is minus y z square so this term will get cancelled now remaining terms are which are the remaining terms only x cube then x y z y cube y z here is y z and y z in this plus y z in this minus y z will get cancelled so just write the remaining terms now write the remaining terms here is x cube then minus x y z then here y cube then here minus x y z then here is z cube and again minus x y z so here minus x y z minus x y z minus x y z will become here x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus this 1 2 3 so there will be 3 x y z and which is equal to left hand side thus we proved after solving the right hand side that is equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube that is equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 xy z thus we proved in this way we proved the question this question that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 xy z that is equal to this expansion this is all for this video thank you